Hello and welcome to Ghost Prime Reviews. As you know, because you clicked on the link, this is about Target Optimus Prime with Bullseye. It is a Target branded Optimus Prime, which I totally didn't expect to have. We expected the Amazon Prime, but a Target one, I guess it's a consolation prize. Uh, it's kind of cool. The deco is kind of neat. Now we have had a ton of repaints of this guy already. So I'm gonna keep this video rather quick. So please like and subscribe and all that. And without any further ado, let's get to the review. And we're going back to the past a little bit from before I opened it. Here he is in the box sealed. And it is beautiful. It looks great in this box. It really, really does. I like the fact that there's a full plastic window in front. It's not open. It's not a fully enclosed box. You could see the toy in there. So this is what I could really understand just leaving it in the box like this because it presents beautifully. You got Optimus Prime right here. And I, this is supposed to be Bullseye. And he, Optimus Prime is throwing one of those giant spheres that are in the front of target that are made of solid concrete yeah I hope bullseye doesn't try to catch that or he's gonna get crushed but this it's pretty cool you got the two balls right there giggity giggity and um yeah it's pretty nice i like uh on the side here you have bullseye with uh prime and he's got these eyes so you look at his eyes right there the red eyes are kind of like happy looking I think that's pretty cool. That's a really nice little touch to show emotion in Prime. It's really, really well done. I like that. On the back, there he is scanning. Uh, I guess there's a soft package he's supposed to be. Uh, there's a close-up right there on Bullseye. I uh, see him right there with the Matrix. And there's the truck and trailer. 40 years of Transformers. Nothing on the top. Just an Autobot logo on the side. So yeah, overall, it, it's a it's a really nice packaging, and um, it's kind of a shame that I'm going to open it and do this review. But let's do just that. There we have it out of the package, and yeah, I think overall the deco looks great. It does look like a Target truck. Target actually has this on their trailers, which is kind of cool that they replicated that. He comes with this, which is Ravage as I keep wanting to say Spot, but it's Bullseye. And I don't know, it's very hard to see on here. So at first, I thought this was like maybe supposed to be the package. It was supposed to be like a box. But looking at it, it looks like Bullseye is coming out of a package. I thought that could be an envelope maybe. I don't know. This thing's really, it's not a very good print in my opinion. Uh, maybe it's an envelope. I, I don't know. It, it looks weird. But there he is coming out of there. Maybe you could... Discern that a little bit better than I can. Uh, it's supposed to be a box? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think if they made, I know they couldn't do it because they want to make it white, but if they made them brown or something here to make it look like an actual like package from Target, I think it would have worked a little better personally. Uh, looking at the trailer deco here close up, they got Bullseye coming out there. The Target logo there. Target right there. Nothing really on the back. Opposite side. No paint on the bottom, but everything is retained, you know, the same. Uh, one thing, you don't really have a place to put this. You can open the back and just kind of throw them in there. And then, but that's about all you can do with it. Uh, it does open up just like all the other ones that we have already of these. It has the little... This is supposed to be a scanner. The repair, the repair droid is actually a scanner. And again, you know, removable and all that. I'll show more on the robot mode with that. Uh, this does still come off, just like every other version of it, even though it's, it's just part of the mold, basically, at this point. Moving on to the truck. Uh, it's all done up with this red, and it matches really, really well. Um, I like how it does match. I like the, the color breakup on it. It's nice. You got the Target logo on the door there on both sides. And yellow headlights. I think they're painted. Silver um, grill. A little tiny silver would have been the logo there. It looks good overall. I think that's really nice. Uh, these are actually translucent, I think. i take that back. These are painted windows, not translucent. 
So they're all black. You got the silver accents, the smoke pa smoke pipes there. You got the uh, hubs on the wheels painted. Let's put that back out. But yeah, I think it looks good. Uh, lack of tail lights, but overall, I think it looks it looks fairly decent. I think it's a really good deco on this. It looks really nice. The transformation I've done in my original G2 Prime review, and it's been done so many times. We're just gonna transition into robot mode. And it, the deco looks really, really nice. The color breakup again is really good on it. Look up close to that head. He has red eyes. I think the paint on this is done super nice. Love the paint. Very, very nicely applied paint. He's got the white here. That's a lot like the, uh, the Toxitron version. Now the translucent piece is right here. And I can't tell, I think these are painted. So he has, usually it's on the same sprue. So I'm not really sure, but it is painted all the way through inside there. You got the black paint there, a little Autobot logo. The target logo shows up on his abdomen, black and silver plastic there, black and red plastic for the legs. Overall, this deco looks super nice on him. Super, super nice. I did fail to mention the yellow up here too. So it's got a lot of color. Uh, I think that's maybe where the budget went because he doesn't have any accessories, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Fartox Designs is going to make an accessory that's awesome. I'll be doing a short on that, so please watch out for that. Um, he has this, again, this is Rabbit or Bullseye. And as Rabbit could do, he has a little handle. And he's supposed to be a package, so he holds it like this. And I said I'd bring this back in. This is supposed to be a scanner. So he's supposed to scan the package and then drop it off at your house. That's what he does. He does, he delivers target packages. Um, <laughs> all right, sure. Um, I guess toys are supposed to be about imagination. So there's some imagination there. I do wish he came with a sword or gun or something of that nature though. And here we have Bullseye transformed into a dog. Now, I, I get that it looks very wolf-like or dog-like because the sculpt is off there for the head. Doesn't look like a cat. Does look like a dog. I get it, even though Ravage is a cat. Uh, he's got Bullseye in one of his eyes. He's got a little collar there. His nose is painted black. Eye on the other side is black. And otherwise, it's just a white figure with, you know, you can see the markings on the uh, outside. Same thing as is the Ravage toy. There's not really anything different. There's how they compare the two decas for the same one, as well as the shattered glass version, which is much more like this one. And one more thing before I move on to comparison to this guy, I did forget to mention that he does retain the Matrix, and it's done up in a red and white target motif with the silver around it. And even though these are translucent, uh, you can't see through it, which actually makes it look really good. And here he is with Toxitron. I think he looks relatively similar to Toxitron as far as paint scheme is concerned, uh, with the outline, the head. I think it looks pretty, pretty good. Uh, Toxitron's another really good paint job. So these two actually look pretty decent together. There he is with Scourge, or more of a Nemesis Prime due to the color scheme. But as you can see, that's how they compare. Finally, there he is with the original G2 Prime that came out. So you can see how these two compare. The red color is definitely different. Must be a Target proprietary color. But as you can see, it is very much different. Finally, here's a shot of all of them together. It gets a good idea of the color breakup on them. They're all very different. Now hang with me for a minute while we go to final thoughts about this guy. So no accessories is kind of a bummer and it's still a high price point. That is something definitely against it, but they do have to pay for the Target license. Uh, it should be said it is a Target exclusive as well, but I don't know. I, I think it's a really nice deco, regardless if we've had this a bunch of times. This is one of the nicer decos on this figure. And the figure still kind of holds up. The same complaints. So, you know, that's what it is. Bullseye being a cat, not a dog, technically a dog, weird, but I understand why they did it. There's no new tooling whatsoever. He just doesn't have any accessories. So uh, Firetox is gonna fix that, and I'll be doing a short on that, as I said earlier. 
So we'd look out for that. And uh, yeah, if you see him in the store, he's cool. Maybe he'll go on clearance to pick him up. I don't know if he's necessary for your collection. Anyway, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this video. And uh, as always, stay cool and I'll catch you later.